Hello, react. Good morning, and welcome to our touch point today. My name is God Gift Austin, a regular host of platform. This place, we like we used to be to pick our topics, we deliberate on them scripturally to find out the mind of God in those areas of concerns, grace, and how to respond to Him accordingly. In so many those questions have lingered over the years in our heart, and sometimes seem to identify answers have been tackled. I have no doubt the Lord has taken care of you all this in this ministry. You just have to follow also in our social media handles and what the videos uploaded there are over 500 of them before you finish it because of this over what the Lord has done in your life all right we want you to use the comment sections for your testimonies as the Lord is blessing you and help us share this message let it go viral the light has not made under the ocean God bless you as you do so let's pray Father we thank you O Lord for today this Saturday we thank you for your faithfulness we thank you for what you are doing and what you are prepared to do for us today impart us by your word and cause us to know you more. in Jesus name Amen Beloved still talking about anxiety and our question now is why do I need help from others why can't I just rely on my own strength the thing is that if you see Proverbs chapter 3 verse 15 the Bible says fools think their own way is right but the wise listening to others that's the truth so wisdom is a recognition of our own inadequacies foolishness is thinking we can handle all our problems on our own it is wise to be aware of our tendencies to become uh, overcome by anxiety and to be prepared to deal with it this involves building supportive relationships that can bring us help when we become overwhelmed now let's see Proverbs chapter 25 verse 11 that was a timely advice is lovely like God golden apples in a silver basket. So there are few things as valuable as wise and timely counsel. Sometimes the presence and help of a friend or counselor is just uh, what we need to get through a time of deep anxiety. Of course. So let's look at another question. What can I how can I keep hoping? When God doesn't seem to act. Now see Psalm 71 verse 5. Oh Lord, you alone are my hope. So it's very explicit. Who to God controls the future? Who but God controls the future? Who but God has a home for us that is a eternal? Who but God forgives our sins? Who but God can give us a life that lasts forever. No wonder it is our hope. Now let's see Hebrews chapter 11 verse 1. This shows the reality of what we hope for. It is evidence of things we cannot see. Yes. So we have faith in God to do what He has promised. And we can be we can be absolutely sure that He, he will. Unlike idle hopes, our hopes are built on the solid foundation of his trustworthiness. Praise God. So the promises of God now for his Jeremiah 29 11. For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. They are plans for good and not for disaster. They give you a future and hope. Also see John chapter 16, verse 11, 33. I have told you all this so that you may have this. Here on earth you will have many trials and sorrows, but take heart because I have overcome the world. Now see also first Peter 5 and 7. If all your worries are dear to God, God cares for you. Let us take the pause here. And the next time we come, we'll be talking about apathy. Praise God. So you are not born again, we will confess in Christ. Say, Father, come into my life, wash me by your blood, save me, O Lord, from eternal death. Write my name in the book of life and delete it from the book. Write my book of life and delete it from the book of the Satan. Withdraw your feelings from my life. Thank you, Jesus. And God. Jesus Congratulations and praise for all this morning. And I urge you to use the comment section. I mean, to continue to fellowship with us as you can never get to know me in the right place. The Lord has built all this. I love you, Lord. This is for you. And I praise you.